Hey guys, and uh, this is the newest addition to my RC library, or collection, I guess. It'd be more of a collection. Um, the other RC that I have is the 116th Summit over there. the camera bag um it's a pretty good truck four-wheel drive uh, the motor is pretty small if I had known that brushless was amazing I would have upgraded the motor and that but I decided not to and instead I bought this Traxxas they're pretty good RC company, the fastest name, radio control, right there. I put that sticker on, but that one comes on the trucks. It says Extreme Brushless Power Systems, or System. So, um, Let's go over what is actually on the truck itself. Okay, so I need to tilt this down. There we go. Um, the new MXLS 6S, MXL 6S, um, ESC. It has three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter bullet style connectors, I think. I have braided the cord just because I've seen that you should braid the cord online. Um, 2200 kV Mamba Monster transmission. It's a big transmission. I don't know how many gears there are exactly, but I'm pretty sure that there is somewhere around 7, 10, something like that. Um, the battery hold downs, these are pretty cool because there's a little tab here with a spring under it. You just push on that tab, slide the bar out, and then it comes right out of its hold downs. So you put a battery in there like this. Make sure that the wires go to the gap in the middle. Put the battery hold down thingy. I don't know, it's not a strap, but it's basically a bar in there. And it clicks in. And that's going to hold your battery in. Um, up here we have the TQI receiver with... And it's expanded a bit because of all the telemetry. Um, dual servos. And at the back, the wheelie bar. It is adjustable in one, two, three, four, four spots. So you could either have your front wheels almost planted the whole time or really big wheelies the whole time. Um, since its brother, the T-Max, came first, it has the shock tower is a T-Max because that is where your glow plug would go for your engine to start it, but it doesn't need one because it's electric, and it is brushless. Um, it has a, a series connector. So that doubles the power of the battery, as long as you have two of the same battery, which I do. Um, it's an 8 point, f it, these come in the truck. They're 8.4 volt, 300 milliamp Traxxas power cell batteries, uh, seven cell in each. So with the series connector, that makes it 16.8 volts, 600 milliamp. It's pretty good. Uh, the body is extremely detailed. There are 
molded fenders into it. They've molded a gap here. I don't know why, but it's just realistic. There's little rails up on the top here. Um, there is a part right here. You probably can't see it. No, oh, I sort of. A part here that juts out about a sixteenth of an inch. And there's another fender at the front. Um, it looks really fast and really cool with the new Pro Graphics. Um, it's pre-cut for the bumpers in the front and the back. And it comes with a few stickers on it as well as I put that one on it and a fake little gas cap. Um, the truck is massive. It almost weighs 18 pounds. The shipment box weighed 18.2, so it, it might weigh 18 pounds. There is two shocks, progressive rate travel shocks, on every corner of the truck and the massive 6.3 inch tires with the 17 millimeter hex nuts are just look cool they feel really good they're really grippy grippy style tread and the foam is pretty dense but I guess it has to be to hold up 18 pounds um, I have moved the top of the shocks. It originally comes in middle hole. There's three holes, one, two, three. I have moved it to the outside hole. Excuse me. On every single shock. That's the only thing that bothers me about this truck is that when you change the suspension, you have to change it eight times before it's the same and on the bottom I guess I'll show you from the front there is um, four different holes that you can put the shocks in so that's very adjustable and on the back of each axle there's a tie rod bar and you would have to take that out to adjust the shocks on the back of the axles. Um, it comes with some of the re same things as the Revo. Uh, I believe the drive shafts are the same in there and there. Um, here as well. Uh... I don't know exactly what else, but it could be this uh, drive shaft cover. And I don't think anything else is the same. The slipper clutch might be the same, and I think the differentials are the same. But the Revo has a different suspension setup, so none of the A arms or shocks would be the same. It has a suspension setup more like my Summit. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about the truck. I have the batteries that it came with. I took it out of the box, plugged it in, ran it. It seemed for being an 18 pound truck with low power batteries, it actually threw its weight around really good. Um, the ESC, because it's from Castle, has a lot more programming features and in the future I'll be programming it so that uh, when you floor it it either gently floors it or really it's just like the expo so either you floor it and it slowly accelerates or you floor it and it just goes um, so yeah, I haven't really ran it. It was like 
three minutes that it ran, uh, but the tires are dusty now. And the batteries are now fully charged. So after this, I'm going to go out and run it. Um, so let's talk about what comes in the box. Um, obviously, the iPhone 5 and this connector does not come in the box. I have just gotten a connector from a 50 pin to the lightning and it fits, they fit underneath each other so I've just laid the phone flat um, and I have the Traxxas Link app with the Emacs brushless edition. This is the new TQI remote with the docking base. Uh, this shows you telemetry from the truck. There is a voltage sensor coming straight from the batteries. It doesn't come from the ESC or anywhere else. It goes straight from where you plug in the batteries. Um, there is an RPM sensor in the differential, or not the differential, sorry, the transmission that senses your motor speed and from that with the gearing and the tire size calculates your speed. You can get the GPS module but it's like 40 bucks so I'm just gonna go off of that. Um, the Traxxas Link app is pretty unique I have, you can customize it any way you want, but I've customized it so it shows me speed in miles an hour, um, RPM, the temperature, and the Castle Creations thing says don't let it go over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have set this for 175. So at 175 degrees Fahrenheit, it will go off and say that it's getting warm so that I can come cool it down. That's the battery voltage. You can also set it for a, an alarm. Um, you can set any of these for an alarm. This one is just the speed. Um, this one's the RPM and it will save the maximum. Up there it says max. The max speed, this down here, that is always there. You can't take it off unless you change the dashboard. You can select a large digital and then it's just like that. Or you can change your theme between the blue and the gray with the background. I like the blue. Um, so it comes with a steering trim knob that's common and a multifunction knob. Uh, this is used with the Traxxas Link app where in the profiles let's say or no uh, driving effects so what you would do is the throttle sensitivity it's at 40 right now if you wanted to turn it up you click on Oh, the transmitter has to be on, sorry. So now the transmitter is on, the green light, and it will show up here, up in the corner, right there. So now the steering sensitivity is down, or you can do the throttle sensitivity, and with that multifunction knob, you can make it go up or down without touching the screen. Uh, you don't have to use this knob you can slide it or use the dots, but it's an added feature that hardly any trucks have. Um, I just know that Traxxas does. Uh, so, yeah, I just reset it there. Um, it has a smaller wheel for steering than the TQ remote that's for my summit um, it has a menu button and a set button and the on switch is at the bottom the batteries go in here in this hatch 
they have a block style battery holder and it just slides in I got my batteries from Costco and uh, it feels really form-fitting to your hand and with that let's go over what is included with the truck okay so you get stickers I put some on you get a that's French it's like a registration card for your vehicle I don't know they say they want you to register it uh, quick support guide it's three pages first page second page third page that's in English and the rest is in different languages um, the new TQI top qualifier 2.4 gigahertz radio system compatible with iPhone and iPod touch just a four page pamphlet on some of the features and the quick start guide for the Emacs brushless edition it is how many pages is in English all right so it has seven pages in English and the rest are in French I believe um some more things included in the box this was not included I bought this at home hardware for 10 bucks and I put some stickers on it there's the Autobox, Traxxas um, these little body clip things I put them on just for fun and I have the rocket dog sticker because I have a dog named rocket and I thought that might as well put it somewhere so I put it on there um, these actually came on the bags and I'll show you a little bit more about that um, like here it says max extended battery hold downs and spacers so what I did up here is for the hardware and accessories whatever was in the bag I put it in there it was just body clips um, for the optional gearing I put the gear in there for the tools I put the tools that came with it um, that's not a tool that's a wire as well as some little screwdrivers that I had and these are just parts and body clips for my uh, little summit and what else is in here alright so you know there's extended battery hold downs and spacers it's just a, a taller battery I guess that it can hold uh, the docking base spacers the driver's ed guide more six cell battery spacers those are included in this at the very bottom there those two are the same as these two not sure why they do that but then they have a whole bunch of shock pistons and spacers um, as well as the 17 millimeter hex nut wrench I believe this is for shock pistons and whatnot and a multi-purpose wrench they say I haven't seen any uh, hex nut that is this small on the truck or that you can use with this that's that small there's just the 17 millimeter and a few other one millimeter nuts um, so yeah, I guess I gotta put these back in. It also came with um, another sheet like this in French, I think, and a few other things that are just paper to me, so I just threw them out. And I think that it is a really, really sweet truck.